Okay, so the first ride on the Bandit went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I realised when I was holding the choke, I was doing nothing um, because the choke cable had snapped. So that's something we've got to fix, but we do have like a throttle cable kit. So I'm just going to use that. Yeah. So the first ride went really well. Obviously you're about to see that in a minute. <coughs> I met someone that was walking down the road. There was a few people walking down the road, but only one of them looked trustworthy. So I gave him my phone and said, are you okay just recording a clip of me going back and forth? And he was a nice guy, he said, yeah. Um, and he actually did a mint job of keeping up with the bike as I went past him. Uh, whereas normally, if I'd have got my lady to record that, it'd have been me going past and then turning it when I'm leaving. Um, but yeah, the plan for it now is we need to fix the choke cable. We've got to clean the engine and add up. So what we'll do is we'll get this called like back to silver or something like that. It's similar to back to black, but for silver and chrome. Um, it's like an engine polish. We're going to put the engine polish on. We're going to possibly fit a new chain. There's nothing up with this one. I just like the look of like a gold chain on a bandit. Uh, and then obviously clean up all the frame and just fix everything that needs to be fixed, the, the minor things. And then you guys will come along to the MOT and when she passes an MOT, we'll choose whether we keep her for a few months through um, like koi season and that, because those of you that don't know I work on a koi farm. So whether we keep her for a few months to that, or if we jump straight back to the bobby, or maybe I've got a spare 125 engine sitting here, we buy a project and just start going mad and build a go-kart or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like I said, that's up to you guys. Um, I've just found the kit, so that can go on the choke. But I appreciate the support as well that the bandit's getting. Um, I think this is the this is like the direction we're going now, is with like early 2000s, 1990s bikes bigger bikes because like 125s are all fun and everything but once you sit on a bigger bike and ride a bigger bike 125s will never feel the same no matter how fast you manage to get one um, that or we could maybe show turning this engine with like a 150 big ball kit I can show you how to do everything on that so then obviously you make your 125 a bit faster I'll show you I'll do the manifold for the carb and everything like that and tune your carbs up properly but yeah, for the bandit, there will be another video in a couple of days. I'm trying to be as consistent as I can. I do have, now obviously with working, doing YouTube, uh, today I'm actually going to a friend's funeral. I've got um, Healed Collectibles, who is editing the videos for me. So if you guys are into anything like that, like comics, cards, like proper, like good, good stuff, um, then obviously he's going to edit this video. Jack, if you want to, leave your stuff in the description. If you don't, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so for that episode, this is me. Oh.